Welcome, ladies and gents, to um, episode 26 of Sunday Best with myself, Isuru Tosina, and my uh, fellow comedian, Gavin Kelly. How are you doing, bro? I'm all good, man. So you beat the Karoro, your the variant, the Shalankan variant. Yeah. I can't I believe the sun, <laughs> last week we were doing the show and you didn't know you had Corona. <clears throat> <laughs> I didn't know, bro. Then I got tested during the week, bro. And it turns out. And the thing is, when I went to the doctor, I was explaining to the doctor, I was like, oh, man, I got a stomach ache. And <laughs> I got a cough. And she's like, I think, I think it's Corona, dude. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't think it's Corona, okay? <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, That's it, bro. So you yeah. had Corona, and then you didn't know you had Corona. You said you were dying. You, you said you felt like you were dying. I won't lie, dude. Uh, it the, in the first week before I knew I had it, like I had a fever that was being attacked. Like my whole body was just being attacked. Yeah, last and week you said you cried. And I couldn't get up, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was this close to calling the, the ambulance, bro. This close to calling the ambulance, bro. It was so hectic. Ah, uh, shit, bro. That's funny. <clears throat> Um, yo, you know you, when, mm-hmm. when there's nothing you can do, bro, but you just cry, bro. Like crying is the only thing that <laughs> might even make you feel better. Because hey, <laughs> shit a tear. The cry is supposed to help, and it did. It kind of did. Oh, yeah. that's, that's good, bro. Yeah. How's your health otherwise? You said your mom, your mom tested positive, eh? Yeah, the mom's got it. The mom's got it, but the symptoms are fine. Uh, but yeah, that's how scary it is now. I know people who has it. So yes. Sir. Thing is hectic, yeah, man. it's it's close to home now, bro. It's yeah, yeah. Close it's to not home. on the news anymore. It's like mm. it's life, it's happening now. Sure, it's like you're staring at it when you look in the mirror, bro. <laughs> it's like, it's so intense, bro. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're okay, bro. Yo. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh man, like all that fever's gone. I just have this little bit. It's actually quite interesting, bro. Like the way they describe what happens to your mucus. So my mucus, like in the morning, it's all wet and stuff, and I cough, I'm coughing it out and shit like that. But by the afternoon, dude, it dries up and it just like sticks to the back of your throat and chest, and you can't get it out. It's just like, ah, 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 the whole time, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're yeah, like yeah. afraid to breathe, bro. Like, like you, you like when you take a deep breath, that's when the cough kicks in, bro. Like, fuck. It's like it's someone strangling you from the inside, bro. Yeah. yeah. So shout out to your immune so, system, bro. Yeah, do you know you? I love my immune system now so much. <laughs> I treat my treat so much better now. Also, where eat all the strawberries think, and kiwis. Where do you think you got it from, or who did you get it from? Probably work, bro. Work definitely work. There was someone. A couple of people were tested positive. People were just sick at work. The aircons were in full blast, and. Hey. Yeah, I think that's how I caught it. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Kept it but it's quite there. interesting, dude. Like, I, I mean, living with my girl, sleeping with my girl, she didn't even get it. I mean, wow. She didn't get no symptoms, nothing, unless she's asymptomatic. You know, I mean, I guess she's got that Zimbabwean, maybe she's got that <laughs> Zimbabwean variant. That one, <laughs> that one doesn't play, bro. It's like, I put like pom- <laughs> the poverty in, in, within us. She doesn't scare us, bro. You need to come a stronger COVID. You're going to come <laughs> infect us some bubbles. Yes, see. <laughs> yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah, no, she was all right. She was quite shocked, actually. It's quite interesting. We also actually had sex with masks on because I didn't want to give it to her. <laughs> well, I wanted to give it to her, but not give it to her. <laughs> no mask, no entry. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 it was so weird, bro. I never thought I never thought I'd ever do that. Yeah, you take each other's temperature, like, ooh, it's getting hot in here. Take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot. Mm. Shooting each other with mm. the temperature guns, bro. <laughs> you pew 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 pew. Nice, bro. Nice. Uh, oh. yeah, yeah. So let's start the show, man. Uh, yeah, a lot to talk about today. Yeah, man. So as we all just heard on the news or on TV, 
Ramaphosa just made an announcement that we're moving to adjusted level four. South Africa moves to adjusted level four lockdown. Here are the new restrictions. This thing is so weird, dude. It's like we just add like verbs in front of level four. Adjusted level four. Mm. Uh, premature level four. <laughs> uh, the new level four. <laughs> <clears throat> Now this is the fourth Just time. Just add something in front of level four and that's... This is Bruh. the fourth time alcohol has been banned. May the fourth... May the fourth be with you, bro. <laughs> May the fourth. <laughs> the last one. This is the, the, the last stretch home, guys. The last lockdown we're going to have. I think so. This is probably the last time. Yeah. So now, are you going to get a vaccine, bro? Even though you've uh, had you're... COVID? You know what, dude? I think I'm actually going to consider it because this Delta one, this Delta variant that's out there, bro, ish. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Give me that wonder bogus where, trip. I wonder bro. how it got you. <laughs> <laughs> I go the Delta one day, came yeah. on Delta Airlines, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Delta variant, boy. Let's see. Fucked you up, man. I don't know what variant. I don't even know if I had it, like, I know I tested positive, but it doesn't necessarily mean I had it. You know, I could have had some stomach bug. Nah, I think you had it, bro. You even when you told me the symptoms last week, they're like <clears throat> corona, man. But I, I you, you dude, but I could smell. I, oh yeah, you no, but I could smell. Taste. I could taste. All of that was there, bro. I didn't have a high temperature. My temperature never went above 37 degrees. So this thing of using a gun and checking everyone's temperature is pointless. People can still carry it even at, at like 36 degrees if I had it, you know? Sure. So Hectic, man. get rid of the guns, <laughs> you know, ban all guns. <laughs> all guns. Gun guns and temperature guns. All guns must fall. Water guns. <laughs> that's, that's why they're closing down the schools, bro. There were too many guns, bro. Too, yeah. too many guns in schools. <laughs> Shit, man. So do you have to go to work now? Are you working from home? I don't know, bro. I must actually find out. I've been working from home because I tested positive. Yes. But I don't know when my when my 10 days quarantine lapses. Am I supposed to go back? I guess I'll well, find no, out. I think with this, it's <clears throat> the forced thing to work at home now for everybody. I think that's the thing. I think so. I think they'll just say, yeah, just stay at home and work from home. Back so, to Zoom shows. Yeah. Instagram stories. Instagram lives, boy. Uh, <laughs> Here we go again. Here we bitch go hollering again. at hollering at whack for a Savannah gig, bro. <laughs> like <laughs> give us uh, what's it called? Bar. Virtual bar. Savannah bar. Virtual comedy bar, yeah. Just give us money, bastard. yeah. Just, just give us money, bro. Give us money for this show, guys. <laughs> it's the only show that's still lasting since the first lockdown. <laughs> yeah, bro. True, we still out there doing the things you know? every Sunday. Episode twenty six, season two. Every Sunday, dude. <laughs> Dead or alive, COVID and no COVID. We Boy. do it, son. We do it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ah, but yeah, now lockdown. Oh. Back in lockdown, so it is what it is. Yeah, I actually was quite surprised at uh, president's uh, the president's address because he didn't have a, a an iPad, bro. He did it without an iPad. So <laughs> why did he need the <laughs> iPad in the first place? He <laughs> <It> was freestyling. <laughs> Shit, boy. I think he was using a pen and a book, a book like everybody else, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> What's on a president's iPad? What apps does he have? I don't know, bro, but apparently it was found in Figile's suit. Nine hilarious reactions to Cyril Ramaphosa's stolen iPad. I knew, I knew Razmataz was the one who had it, bro. <laughs> Wait, trust that, that, brother. Is that a true story? Figile and Bolo really had Yeah, his bro. In his, in his, in yeah, his, he had his iPad, bro. In his pocket. How, the thing is, how big is that pocket suit, bro? <laughs> or suit pocket, bro. Like, it's like... <laughs> It's an <laughs> iPad, bro. To fit an iPad in a pocket. Hey, it's a big pocket, bro. That's yes. impressive, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an iPad in your pocket or you're just glad to see me? <laughs> 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 uh, 
Ah, uh, Chuck never gets old, yeah. <laughs> oh man, it's fucking funny. Oh, that never gets old, bro. It's like the it's like the iPad twelve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Uh, did you see the did way? You see, he, did you see Dylan Oliphant's yes, vi- yes, video, video of the iPad, bro? Yeah, it's it's fucking so clever, <laughs> selling an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> so he, it's like he just checked it, but then then there was so funny, bro. Yeah, that's funny. <sighs> Let's see what the people said on the Twitter streets. Okay, oh, I'm not good. loading, huh? I've got to click on them. Yeah, who gives a shit about them anyway? Um, did you see the video when the guy's face, like his expressions, like <laughs> my iPad? Someone stole my iPad. Like he was shocked, bro. He's like, bro, do you not know what country you are the president of? <laughs> Have you not Africa. seen the crime statistics? <laughs> Why are you shocked, bro? Yeah, boy. This is how it works. Being dispossessed of my iPad. Where is my iPad? Welcome to crime. That's how crime works. In fact, you forgot to me. say my iPad isn't stolen. Again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, guys, that mm. like it's the first time, bro. Yo, uh. he was lost with the iPad as well. He couldn't do it without the iPad. Obviously, he couldn't freestyle without the iPad. Yeah, bro. The guy couldn't do improv, bro. <laughs> Improv's on his thing. You should go to Claudine's classes. Jury citizens, yeah. First rule of improv: <laughs> say yes and <laughs> <laughs> the. the, the <laughs> the first citizen goes to jittery <laughs> citizens. That's funny. <laughs> That's so funny, yo. <laughs> yo, but this thing. <clears throat> well, I mean, I mean, when he did lose the iPad, he looked like a jittery citizen. <laughs> <laughs> That's crime, yo. The effects of crime, post-traumatic stress. <laughs> 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 You know, he was probably worried about the porn, bro. He was like, fuck, someone's going to see my porn collection. Yo, brother history, boy. <laughs> Yo. Wonder what, 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 porn, what kind of porn do you think Cyril watches, bro? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mm, I have no idea. I think it's a guess. Bang Bros. I don't know why. But <clears throat> he looks like a Bang Bros kind of man. Bang Bros. Yeah, yeah, I think I think he probably watches like Secretary fucks the boss type <laughs> videos. <laughs> Most powerful man in the country has sex <laughs> with random people, or sexy judge fucks man in court. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. President's porn, yeah. <laughs> President's porn, bro. President's <laughs> porn collection, bro. Isn't that iPad? Okay, <clears throat> yeah, should I? Should we log off here? Yeah, we can. We can cancel this. Who got next? Okay. Oh, Pete. Pete Rampedi has so uh 702. Welcome. Is this 702? Yeah, this is the first time on Sunday. Best welcome to our hey, comedy welcome, podcast. Welcome, welcome. I have mm. evidence that she was pregnant. Pete Rampedi stands by his decoupled story. Yeah, so this th- this story is just getting wilder mm. and wilder, bro. <laughs> this Pete Rampedi character is a proper, yeah, it's a proper character. Eh? He's He's certain that the, the, the woman was uh, pregnant. He was... It's like he, he stuck his head inside the vagina and saw the 10 kids. Like, yeah! Like, yeah! It's a world record. I need to fucking publish this, put this to print. Bad journalism, bro. But I mean, if the guy has evidence, why is it... This is very bad journalism. Very, very bad. Mm. Like uh, to verify your facts. Like I have, ne- <laughs> yeah, dude. Like I mean, you don't even need a 
a, a degree in journalism to know like how to prove things to people, bro. <laughs> if I tell someone pigs are flying, people want to see if pigs are flying, bro. Where are the photos of these pigs flying? <laughs> now there's a woman having ten days. Yeah, bro. Can we like... please see the photos? So apparently he says, <clears throat> I mean, the I mean, not, I'm... told him that they were pregnant. She said they were pregnant, and he just went with the story, bro. No medical facts. Look, I mean, to be fair, people were asking him, like, like what was what were they expecting to do? Like, tell her to get naked and let's see the stomach. Like, <laughs> that's also I understand. Like, you have to get. You know? So. <clears throat> well, you're a journalist. That's your. But well, you should have followed through. It's your job as a journalist is to verify. Yeah. Otherwise, we can just, get just believe from anything. Twitter. Yeah. Exactly, bro. See, it's 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 people like Pete that cause anti vaxxers and flat earthers and all of that shit, bro. Yeah. You know, they just run <laughs> run their mouths. If a if a if a WhatsApp message, a fake WhatsApp message, was a person, it would be Pete. I'm <laughs> Peter Ampedi. <laughs> Peter Ampedi is the WhatsApp admin for those fake news articles that are being forwarded, bro. He's the one that's he's the, he's the group admin, bro. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. <clears throat> this guy's just handing out blue ticks, bro. Handing out. <laughs> Uh, Peter Ampedi. You should go work for the Daily Sun, bro. It was the headlines were, were, were yeah, sour the Daily Sun. <clears throat> That's more his avenue. Yeah. yeah. Tokolosh rapes. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what a Tokolosh rapes. I, I'm I'm blanking, but yeah, uh, those sort of headlines. <laughs> yeah, woman cuts man's balls. You know, it's like okay. <laughs> Uh, and uh and speaking of cutting balls um new zealand wow wow shit shit (laughs) new zealand wade lived to hubbard to become first transgender Mm -hmm. athlete to compete at olympic games um yeah so new zealand breaking records bro yeah, shout out to New Zealand. How you bro. going? <laughs> it's progressive, mate. Yeah, mate. Progression. Progression, yeah. mate. <laughs> from fucking sheep to say from, 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 Go in the days of fucking sheep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think this is kind of unfair, bro, to be honest, eh? Well, uh, hey, man. I don't want to... <laughs> You know, comments too far on this. I'm just, you know, proud women's rights. Woo, yeah, woo. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the problem. The other women in this thing are going to get their ass whooped because this guy, this guy was a former... They're going to get beaten, bro. Like, this lady, sorry, was a former weightlifter and then she got injured, transitioned to a woman. Now she wants to go back. She's the oldest athlete at the at the, at the the thing, bro. How it- she got injured where? She broke her arm, but like this was before she transitioned. She was still a weightlifter. So how does breaking your arm affect your sexuality, bro? <laughs> you break your dick. <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> so after I catch an injury, <laughs> now I'm gonna transition. <laughs> it sounds dubious, man. Like, oh, how can I win a, another medal? Uh, let me transition and go beat women in their category. <laughs> But I, you know what? I'm with you, bro. I do agree with it because, I mean, here's an instance where, so an an X Men, you know, is now X Men. Sorry, is now suppressing, using hormone suppressing medication to enter a woman's weightlifting class, yeah. right? Yeah. But Casta Semenya, Casta Semenya is naturally has natural masculine testosterone, but she now is denied from running at all. 
So why is the one okay? So but the one isn't okay. Why? <clears throat> I'll tell you why. You know why? You know why this one's okay. You see this one? It's Caucasian. It's Caucasian. This one. You see this? The it's color co- of the skin. This one. This one has melanin. You see, melanin disallows. <laughs> melanin disallows. It's got fuck all to do with testosterone or estrogen or hormones. Exactly, but it's all about melanin. It's all about the melanin. <laughs> it's all about the melanin. Because don't give a shit about testosterone, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is so unfair. It's such a double standard. It's really stupid. What's the thing with the weightlifting, bro? The thing is, besides, okay, say now she has lower testosterone levels, right? The right amount of testosterone levels, right, to compete because of the drug she takes. But the thing is, yeah. she still has yeah. bones are from a man. Her bones are still manly. Her muscles are still manly. And weightlifting, that Her bone matters. structure and shit like yeah. that. yeah. She's still a grown ass man. So with weightlifting, it's unfair. I really don't yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, I can tell you what, we know who's gonna win the gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, place your bets, yeah. <laughs> place your bets now, guys. Place your bets. <laughs> it's probably not even training. Bro. But also if this <laughs> if this if this honey doesn't win. If it's that he doesn't win. She's going to win. She's probably not even training right now. Bro. Probably just chilling, having a beer, yeah. eating pizza. <laughs> While the other female athletes are watching, watching tapes, <laughs> Watching tapes of Casta Semenya, bro. <laughs> This could be us, but unfortunately, uh, you are playing and you have too much money. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. You. Do you like yeah, yeah. Olympics? Do you, are you a fan of the Olympics? Not really. Eh? I mean, ugh, I'll just check. The 100 meter sprint is always nice to see. There's these new American babes that are fire. Um, yeah, but apart from that, I'm really into it. You? Yeah. Nah, bro. <clears throat> Is nah. any? I like my, like I said, I like my sports with balls. When a sport doesn't have balls, eh? I'm out. <laughs> you know, like soccer, basketball, tennis. Oh, yeah. oh I thought you meant <laughs> testicles. No, <laughs> no, that's no, that's transphobia. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like balls. Like, Soccer balls uh, and cricket balls, so. uh, you mean chutney? Chutney, so like <laughs> you make sure you have some chutney. Uh, <laughs> Mrs. Balls. Mrs. Balls used to be a man. You would be hilarious if if this if this uh, woman was advertising Mrs. Balls. That'd be funny. <laughs> Want to know where my balls are? <laughs> uh, shit. Funny, funny, Mrs. Balls Chutney. You <laughs> know, uh, we number one in the Olympics. <laughs> I wonder what they do do with the balls. They probably eat them like how pregnant women eat placenta. That's nasty. Testicles. Mm-mm. That shit must burn <laughs> give them, out. Bro. Give them strength. Bro. Mm-hmm. I mean, what are you talking about? Dude, we have, we consume bull testicles. If you have, I mean, do you drink Red Bull? If you've had Red Bull, you have had bull testicles. Really? Is that a fact? Yeah, taurine. I think taurine is from, taurine is from bulls. Jesus testicles, Christ, I think. Really? Holy shit. Naturally, the human body. Taurine is found in large. Mm-hmm. Taurine bull. Yeah, it comes from bull semen. So they joke off bulls. Wow. <laughs> when I die, I want to come back as a bull. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, look, it is produced synthetically, but initially... 
we used to uh, con- like pull it out from bull semen, and that is not bull. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. So we can we can we can move <laughs> along with that. <laughs> Wrong from bull testicles. Uh, next up, pictures. Drakensberg life coach uses naked hike for men to help them overcome their fears and insecurities. Now that's talking about having <laughs> balls. <laughs> yeah, bro. Literally, you can see the balls. <laughs> yeah, but I like how these dudes are all um, what do you call this? Black. Putting that pose to cover uh. their schlong. <laughs> Well, okay, if, okay, <laughs> that too, Gavin, if that's what you noticed. <laughs> it's a, it's a that's your of, observation, bro. It sticks out when you see a bunch of naked black I think dudes on a hike is this initiation, bro. <laughs> <laughs> initiation, but you still keep your foreskin. Uh, I like that. <laughs> Yo, dude, I don't know initiation comes with backpacks. <laughs> Yo. These guys, these guys forgot their blankets. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. Would you do this though, bro? Yo, because this is quite confrontational. Uh, nah. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems like a bunch of gay dudes. Like, <laughs> as soon as they, you know, like the sun sets, the party's on. You know, like. Yeah, it's right. just that's not for me man this guy's wives and girlfriends must be so confused it's like so you're gonna go yeah to a like, mountain with a bunch of guys and you're gonna go naked <laughs> it's okay yeah um, like i mean dude i went to an afrikaans res during during when the university was still afrikaans and yeah. i know all about running naked and yeah I've, i did my time i did my time you've done this i'm okay you've, with you've this. been naked yeah. in front of other men <clears throat> Yeah, of course, dude. Like an initiate for for <laughs> res. Like on the final day, you gotta run naked to the pond. So, <laughs> and you so, so, so many times we had to be naked. It just nudity was just it's a uh, it's a cry for help, know. eh? Is that Sivin Gezi over there, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, son. We have to zoom. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he's here, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, what kind of insecurity do you <laughs> overcome on a, a naked hike? Yes, see, bro. What kind of demons are you dancing with? Yeah, I don't know, dude. Like, also, what about like insect bites? <laughs> you don't worry about some shit biting your dick. <laughs> you know? Yeah, bro. That's... I mean, why? Like, like, forget, forget. Sh- I mean, you guys are wearing shoes. <laughs> you know, let's protect so, our feet, but forget our dicks. You know, so for, there was still a dress code for the naked hike. Wear shoes, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. It's like, come in, make sure you wear your cavellas, but everything else must be out. <laughs> White, white Carvelas for a naked hike. <laughs> yo, you're brave, bro. <laughs> <laughs> These guys start judging each other's shoes, bro. <laughs> That's all they can talk about, eh? Yes, bro. Those are nice socks, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Was so, so funny, bro. Oh, fuck. Oh, these secret socks are the best. You don't even feel them. I know. <laughs> that dude is wearing secret <laughs> socks. Yo, that's funny. <laughs> so what secret socks are those, Featherlight? <laughs> oh, natural, boy. Mm. Yeah, uh, you see one guy at the back saying, look, no hands. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. I would. Ne- I feel very uh, uncomfortable uh, around naked men, bro. That thing. Mm-mm. Look, I mean, I, I don't know, dude. Like, I think with enough mushrooms or LSD, I can, you know, go butt, butt ass naked and run around for a couple of hours. <laughs> but I still want to put my clothes on afterwards. You need to be high. You know? and, uh, As a kite. <laughs> yeah. 
mm. for me to be this naked, I need to be like, uh, to each their own. Maybe this life coach also is just as uh, like a pervert. <laughs> Homosexual pervert. It sounds about right. Even yeah. says men only. Uh, oh, come on, dog. Men only. Yeah? Mm-hmm. We are going to be... Oh, okay. So it, say, it says test your endurance. Minus one degree Celsius. It's like test how small your dick shrivels up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, test your testicles. <laughs> <laughs> Focus on completing the task. <laughs> 170 rand per 170, person. 170 rand per, per person. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. Transport just... entrance meal. I wonder what the meal is. Take voice rolls. Voice rolls, guys. <laughs> and they don't voice rolls. <laughs> Put a voice rolls, guys. <laughs> 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 and to snack cocktail sausages got some cocktail sausages to snack on guys ah shit bro <laughs> yeah I couldn't do this man I could not do this not I couldn't do this either bro man. my whole life I could never do this <clears throat> if I, I guess if there were honeys yeah that would be keen yeah I want to go to the woman one you know? the woman naked hiked that's why I'll go to that yeah <laughs> I wonder if there's a female one why don't they have a female one of this yeah it's true eh? and you just start your own hike when the, with the female one you're like no you don't own this trail I'll just like to join like yeah. you know and you just wear clothes while they're naked <laughs> <laughs> oh man shit <laughs> Imagine you're a Tootsie and you want to rob some hikers and these guys come up. Yo, you'll be so confused, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just taking shoes, bro. You're just taking shoes. He's taking secret socks. Oh, shit. It's a bad day at the <laughs> office, bro. <laughs> and, the, and the voice rolls inside the scuff tin, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So these so are leaving with most rolls and, and sneakers, bro. Yo. <laughs> most rolls and sneakers. What a heist. Yo. Payday. Mm. <laughs> Shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny, man. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what a heist. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, nice, so should we, <clears throat> should we take a hike on this one? <laughs> yes. Oh, lovely. <sighs> cool. Now on to international news. Don't spend it all at once. Generous customer adds 200,000 rand tip mm. to a 500 rand bill. Mm, mm, Yo. Mm. Imagine. I think that's the only time in my life I would have wanted to be a waiter. So mm-hmm. they said in the art school you paid with a with a with a card, ne? So how does the restaurant get the yeah, cash? Yeah, and then he added. I don't know, bro, but I'm telling you what, the manager is splitting that cash amongst all the waiters and waitresses. Yeah, well, yeah, that uh, would I don't be think he's sensible. allowing that one person. Hmm. Yeah, that one person to get all of that to get two hundred k. No one gives that such good service, bro. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I don't care how good your <laughs> is. Everything okay, sir? <laughs> is to like. That's serious. And this you guy wanted like a slice of lemon with that, sir. <laughs> and this guy wanted to remain anonymous. How weird is that, eh? Yeah. Therapist. Probably didn't want people to know. That he's got so much guap. And what was, what did they order even? It was some, I think it was cocktail sausages. <laughs> he was about to go <laughs> on a <Vosserals>. hike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was about to go to a hike or he just came back from the hike. And he felt good. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, well, yeah. hopefully at the hike, he didn't give his tip. <laughs> yeah. Yo, keep your tip to yourself, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of hike. <laughs> <laughs> the life coach the life coach is like okay guys I've got tips like no it's okay life coach <laughs> we all have we all, we all have tips here. Uh, that's funny yo <clears throat> here's your tip don't spin it all at once <laughs> yeah man this is like it's crazy that these things happen eh? this was somewhere in America or was it England no it was yeah it was, in the, it was in the US because it's dollars yeah. Nice. He says, I want you to have it. You guys work hard. But they, I don't know why this guy was saying you guys work hard. Like, he goes in a regular. Apparently, this guy's not a regular. It was like his first time there. Mm. This guy. So how does he know they work hard? Maybe he's a billionaire and he felt guilty about something. And this is the way he <laughs> appeased. Oh, he probably guilty. had so much cash. He's, so let me just <laughs> splash it, you know? Also, he probably knew that advanced level law. Level four lockdown was coming, so it's like, let's help these restaurants out. <laughs> Yo, two hundred thousand more than the government gave them, bro. Bruh. Sure. Yeah. Crazy. Philanthropist. <clears throat> Would you ever do something like this, bro? Like you had this much money. Ah, uh, yo. I've there's so many ways to spend my money. I've really like yeah to give a tip to a waiter. I don't think I'd do it, bro. If I was a billionaire, I'd still think I don't. I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I, I think a, stri- a stripper would deserve it more. Yeah. you must earn your money still. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just giving me a plate of food is not enough. Give me a plate of ass. <laughs> I'll give you a tip. <laughs> I'll give you the whole tip. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, anyway. Anywho. Let's move on. Who got next? Last but not least, <laughs> uh, there's a horror movie called Karen coming out, and the trailer is interesting. <laughs> Yo, trailer is my caca, bro. Yo. It started off great, and then... <laughs> Why would we go watch this movie when we can just go to a white neighborhood? <laughs> you just have to go to Woolworths, bro. <laughs> you just have to go to Woolworths. Go to Woolworths and just wait. You'll see Karen's for days. <laughs> this chick looks like the cash me outside, babe. How about that? Where have we seen this, babe? She's very she's yeah, she's an quite actress, popular actually. Actress. She's I've seen her in a few movies. Yeah. Yeah. But this is a BET movie, so I mean, don't expect it to be great. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it's a horror movie, so for your horror fans. Yeah. Uh, and they got to have a, a, a black brother with a Kunti Kinte. It's so funny in, the, in this trailer. In this trailer, she goes to that chick. She's like, So it looks like you've been slaving away in the kitchen. <laughs> Wow, deep cuts, bro. Deep cuts, dude. This <laughs> out there calling the police. The trigger, bro. That's a superpower. She calls the police. Yeah, but that's the thing. This this thing made a twist. Like, she's like some badass villain now. It's not just like any white woman that's scary, you know. And then there's a twist now. The daughter and like it's a mess. It's a mess. It goes into so many places. No, it's, it's a mess, bro. It's it's like Jiva. Have you seen Jiva, bro? I haven't seen Jiva, but I, you don't watch Jiva for the storyline, right? You watch <laughs> it for the dancing. <laughs> you watch it for the dancing. Actually, I finished it because the dancing was dope. Of course, but bro. yeah, South, South Africans and that's dancing. Where it ends. Don't fuck around. See, like, look at this, dude. Also, we're watching this whole movie, bro. Whole movie. Forget trailer. This is not a trailer anymore, bro. <laughs> yeah, well, at least we don't have to go watch the movie. No matter what. Obviously, she dies at the end. <laughs> Karen! They must make a South African version. Karen! Kobas. 
Kobas. Kobas. Oh, Mariki. Mariki. Eh, <laughs> yeah. uh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I, in terms of that movie, like, I'm not even going to go to the theaters to watch that movie. Bro. Oh, I'm not even going to download that I don't think it's going to make the theaters. I'm not going to legally Bruh. torrent. Yeah. <laughs> I watched the porno. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for the reviews <laughs> to come out, but so I'm good. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the end of the show, ladies and gents. Uh, nice. Thanks for tuning in, and episode good luck 26. with the adjusted level four. Yeah. Yeah, episode 26. We've adjusted our audio, and we've adjusted our images to make sure you adjust <laughs> your <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> yes. And adjust is the word <laughs> of the day, you know. Adjust. adjust your iPad settings and, <laughs> and uh, adjust. Don't be a. Don't you must a, adjust to school kids being at home now. Ish. All the parents. All the parents, bro. Yeah. Hard it, man. And always remember to check your facts. What don't were you going to say? Don't be? Check your facts. Don't be a Pete Ramperi. Don't be a Pete. Don't be a Pete. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make sure you double check. Don't be a Pete. There's a Pete on my stoop. <laughs> it is full of lies. <laughs> There's a Pete in my WhatsApp group. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Pete in my WhatsApp group. That's so funny, bro. Oh, my God. And every time someone's lying, they're like, ah, bro, you're being a Pete. Why are you being a Pete, bro? <laughs> Don't a be Pete. a Pete. Stop being Pete. Jump here a bit. Jump here a bit. <laughs> Thumbs <laughs> down. Yo, that's a throwback, bro. <laughs> Shit. Damn. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, cool, yeah, what man. else did uh, what else we, talk we speak about? about? Uh, oh, yeah. testosterone and estrogen uh, and ish. weightlifting. You know, uh, Team Custer, guys. Yeah, yeah so if you're gonna, Custer. if you're struggling to open that, if you, yeah, we're with Custer. We're we're behind Custer mm-hmm. all the way. Um, yeah, we we think it's unfair, and what we will do is we might go hiking naked to think about it, <laughs> and. Support that cause. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put our testicles out there in protest. Soon, soon, <laughs> soon Cyril's going to address the nation about uh, outdoor activities. Some of you have been uh, naked on outdoor activities. It is prohibited. It un- That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, fine. Uh, you need to wear a mask for your penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah. yeah yeah so that's the show it's a wrap man tune in subscribe week. like peace, peace.